All right, everybody, you know, we're gonna get uh, started with a pretty cool show here. We only have 30 minutes, but we're going to be installing a weedy shower with our new click and seal drain. I'm Art Reitz. I cover Illinois and Wisconsin for weedy shower systems. Up on stage and over to stage left, stage right, would be Stephen Ainley, Regional Manager Midwest, and we also have Greg Brown, who's gonna be doing our installation today. The big reveal here today, the big focus today, is our click and seal drain. This is a brand new drain from Weedy Shower Systems. For years, we had our other drain. This is the next generation. This is a fast installation, uses no sealant, no glue, so you don't have to be a plumber to make these connections, which is a very safe way, of course, to do installations on job sites. But we're gonna go ahead and just get started. This is the Primo shower system, what we call like our traditional shower that takes a curb. So Greg here's just gonna go rock out the thin set, make sure your substrate is level, make sure you have a five inch hole in the plywood. The same setup is gonna be for a slab as well. Five inch hole and the pipe height, PVC pipe ABS, or cast iron, even copper is gonna be cut flush to the top of the subfloor. It's a very easy prep for the weedy shower system. So once that's all done, we go right into the install. Greg here is applying a lubricant that comes with our click and seal drain to the underside of the, get the drain, which is gonna to attach to the shower base. Click and seal. So all he's gonna be doing is just doing a clockwise motion until you hear an audible click and you're seated. That's the attachment to the weedy shower base. It does not get simpler than that. We're done. So now Greg will back butter or Steve will back butter the back of the uh, Primo shower base. Greg's gonna trowel out on the subfloor with a modified thin set using a half inch by half inch square notch trowel. Very simple. Directional troweling, no circles, swirls, or anything like that. We're gonna just go ahead and set that into the thin set in a few minutes. So, this click and seal drain is very simple. What Greg did before applying that lubricant to this drain assembly is simply take all the inner components out of here. There's a locking key, there's a compression spacer, and there's also a simple rubber gasket. That comes out of the middle of the drain assembly. It's just one piece that he attached to the underside of the shower base. We also do provide the simple lubricant or siliconized grease for the rubber components of the click and seal drain. <clears throat> in addition, the tightening key that comes with the drain also is left in and becomes a hair strainer. So a lot of innovation that we brought into this simplistic drain. It actually speeds up the installation of the weedy shower as well. A typical weedy shower, let's call it a four by four or a three by five, probably the most popular size shower. You can expect the installation to take only about two or three hours. After that shower is done, you know, we're not using banding and taping here either. We're using our modified silene sealant and no banding and taping. So that's why that installation is so fast, but you can also set tile as soon as 30 minutes later. However, we're always gonna promote flood testing with your shower, and that could be done as soon as two hours after the weedy material is installed. Very simple prep here though. Level substrate, five inch hole, flush cut pipe to the top of the subfloor. You will want to check your studs. Make sure your walls are plumb. It's only gonna help you when you're cutting and installing and dry fitting the weedy building panels. Once that's done, you go right into the installation. So this is again, the Primo shower base, and we're also gonna be using one of our lean curbs. Weedy has brought a lot of new products into the mix this year as well. We have our AT curbs, so in addition to our full foam curbs and a two inch or four inch um, curb, we also have this AT curb, which has a hard piece of PVC running all along the top of it, not for the weight of glass or anything like that, but so that a foam curb can hold a pivot or a screw for your glass system. We also have introduced a new size shower niche, the 28 inch. We have a 16 by eight, 16 by 12, 16 by 16, 16 by 22, 16 by 28, and a 16 by 42 niche. Lots of options out there, lots of products. 
Greg's looking good with the uh, fin set here. We're going to get some directional trawling going. Back butter down the primo. That's going to get set in just a minute here. We also brought in some metals to accompany those niches. So we are also showcasing glass shelves, low iron content too. So there's no green edge on the outside of this niche glass shelf either. We brought in a stainless steel shelf. We brought in a matte black shelf. So those accessories that that product offering is becoming more and more robust. Wheaties warranty is really something special as well. So it's 10 years, 15 years, or 20 years, depending on if you have a standard certification or if you're a pro certified installer. So Weedy does that two day seminar, that two day class for the pro installation. Our warranty covers you, the, the contractor, the homeowner, bumper to bumper is like what I like to say. So if there's ever a weedy defect or anything, our warranty, again, like our product mix, is robust. We're going to cover your labor, your tile, your grout, your thin set, everything related to that shower, including consequential damages. So if you do ever have a problem, we have a claim process, and we'll take care of you. It does not happen often, though, so it's usually no worries. But our warranty covers everything and the homeowner, wood floors, kitchens, whatever possibly may have been ruined. So here we go. We're going to set the base. Greg's gonna just simply place the base in the thin set and he's gonna walk that out to collapse the uh, trowel ridges and we're set. And again, that's just a modified thin set there. Modified thin set. On the other side of this mock-up too, we've got one of our linear drain offerings. That's the Rialito. That's a single slope, single slope linear drain. But this is a line module and it doesn't get easier than this to set. With the drain covers for the linear drain too, we have matte black, stainless, and tileable. For the 4x4, our point drain system, we also have matte black, chrome, chrome designer, uh, gold, and brush gold, and the list goes on there too. Tileables, quarter inch, three eighths deep. So it's very, um, it's very not limited when you're using the weedy system. You'll be able to do anything you need to do, any design, any shape shower. Now this, uh, actually what Greg is doing now is applying a half inch bead of sealant in the channel that runs around the perimeter of our shower base. The cool thing about Weedy is that if you have to modify your shower base, maybe you're gonna cut it down, maybe you're gonna extend it, your shower's an odd size, maybe your drain is in an odd placement. Well, I'll tell you what, you can cut down this shower base and simply recreate the channel with a circular saw and a razor blade, but with our extension panels, it's equally easy to extend that shower base. Again, not a lot of tools, not a lot of thought has to go into it, and you're gonna set that also in thin set just the same. That half inch bead of sealant is in the channel. Greg's gonna compress the sealant and just install a half inch building panel. Now with Weedy, some of the basics, our, our blue foam is the waterproofing. That's an XPS foam. That's an extruded polystyrene foam. So you're not relying only on a topical layer for your waterproofing. We're internally waterproof 100% all the way through. Greg's gonna go ahead and anchor the, uh, the, the panel here at 12 inches from the top of the panel. You can start at the top or the bottom. It doesn't matter, whatever you're comfortable with. But we just start at 12 inches. We go every 12 inches. There's no tricks. There's no glue to the studs. We are moving right along on this installation. That is for sure. So back to the features of Weedy. You know, the foam is the waterproofing. The coating is a cementitious coating with a fiberglass mesh for rigidity. Now what that means is you can use any modified thin set that you like to use when you're installing tile on a Weedy shower system. Again, it's not very limited in what you, uh, how you installed and what you have to do here. So once he gets that anchored too, he's gonna take our corner putty knife and just get rid of the squeeze out, just get rid of the sealant that's squeezed out from that channel. This process is gonna take place throughout the entire shower again, regardless of the size or shape. And uh, once you get that first application of sealant going, you just come back with a second bead of sealant, a second bead, a half inch bead, and you'll tool that out with the corner putty knife. We'll talk more about that when Greg gets to that point. So there's some cool things going on with Weedy too. We have a North American factory outside of Chicago, 40 miles west of Chicago in Batavia, Illinois. 
That's where many of our products are made. There's a lot of USA sourced raw materials as well. And we're doing a huge factory expansion right now where we're gonna be running most of our products right out of Illinois at the end of this year, possibly 2024 and into the future. So our materials, we've got distribution all over the country in most areas. It's an accessible product. It's a high quality product. The list does go on. But while Greg is uh, sinking in these washers and screws, I'm gonna cover some of the additional features with our click and seal drain. It's a little chart here, I'm not sure if you can read it, but it is a commercial grade solid drain body. So this will be good for large projects and residential projects, no problem. Again, it's a click and seal that does not use any messy thin sets. There's no guesswork here too, because I do know that there's a lot of drains that you're kind of setting blind. You don't exactly get to see that connection all the time. And some of those connections do require glue, pipe glue. So ours using just a compression fit in a gasket. You don't have to have a plumbing license to work with the Weedy shower system and it really keeps the job moving along. The fast install and the fact that we have a compression fit drain really go together well. Our click and seal drain covers all the different shower bases here. So not only the linear drain, also the Primo, of course, our traditional shower base, but the Ligno. This guy's been left alone over here for a few minutes, but this is an impressive offering from Weedy. What we're showing here, maybe Steve can lift it up, that's great. The Lignos, the main feature here is that it's only three quarters of an inch at the perimeter. All of our shower bases are pre-sloped at a quarter inch per foot, so everything meets industry standards and TCNA guidelines. But this is the Ligno, you can modify this just like the other bases as well. You can cut it down or you can extend it. And Steve here is showcasing our Ligno recess kit. It's a bracket system that attaches to joists, traditional TGIs, trusses, whatever you got going on. Don't steer away from the recess kit. That's gonna assist you very easily to drop that floor the, only the three quarters of an inch that the Ligno requires. No joist cutting, there's nothing like that required whatsoever. This also sets in the thin set, just like the Primo shower. Very easy installation here. And once the Ligno is installed, we have a couple accessories that go with our curbless offering. That's the subliner dry and the 620 sealant. So we have the membranes, we've got the inside and the outside corners, the five inch tape. We even have a tub ceiling tape that has a butyl strip for tub flanges when you're doing a, uh, just a simple tub surround, okay? But the subliner dry, this membrane, uses a little bit of 620. Most of that is uh, set with a thin set, but we do kind of like an envelope, have two inches of 620 sealant going around the perimeter so no water can migrate through. So you're not gonna have any issues doing a curbless shower but that is one of the most direct ways that you can accomplish that. So on the second panel here that Greg has installed, the only difference besides the half inch bead of sealant that was applied in the channel is the fact that he put another half inch bead vertically to connect to the first panel that's installed. Weedy will never touch Weedy. When you're doing an installation, whether it's a curb, an extension panel, a building panel, uh, uh, one of the shower bases, Weedy doesn't touch Weedy without sealant in between. So it's pretty simple to do that installation, even if maybe you're not seeing it right now. It's the same application across the board. Back to the click and seal items as Greg's finishing up on the screws and the washers. Once the uh, drain cover, or once the, uh, sh the, the drain is assembled later in the process, which we'll see, we do have an extension kit for the drain cover. Very easy, you can screw it up and down for height adjustment. But one of the innovative items that we brought into this drain this year is the fact that you also have lateral movement so you could get the perfect grout joint in case the tile layout's just a little bit off. So really, here, we're here to work with you on all this stuff for sure. Now some of the other cool things that we're doing with that two day seminar and everything else is just our support structure for the people that use Weedy and for the people that sell Weedy. We just launched an incredible dynamic dealer program to really support those smaller dealers out there so everybody can really feel like that distributor. We have a huge distribution network and all those supporting documents with the technical handbooks, the training, uh, sales tools, samples and everything, we're here to provide for you, okay? So let's team up. You know, we really think about partnering with people, not doing some uh, inventory drop or anything else. We're here to work with you. We are at booth 3930. So after this presentation, 
Later in the day, maybe even tomorrow, come visit us. Talk a little bit more, come touch the material, come check it out for yourself, and let's chat about maybe an upcoming project that you might have. Maybe you have some other ideas in mind and we'll be there for that too. So we can discuss all that on a case by case basis. Greg is just getting rid of the squeeze out here that came out of the channel and then through the vertical seam. He's gonna then just swiftly move in to applying that second half inch bead of sealant. Very simple. And when he tools that out, we do have specifications there. The sealant's gonna get to be one inch past the seam in both directions. That's it, simple. And that would be on any flat seams, that would be on any inside angles, and where the base joins the building panel. Now one of the cool tricks that you can do before you get into the sealant and the channel work and everything else is just simply dry fit that panel into the channel. You dry fit that panel into the channel before sealant, before the screws and washers, and just take a Sharpie marker or any marker, anything that'll mark it, and draw a line. You can take that building panel out of the channel just to verify for yourself that it was down in there a half inch. That way when you apply the sealant, you can look at that mark and you're gonna know that you're fully seated and you'll sleep well at night knowing that that weedy shower was installed correctly and that you're not gonna have an issue. So here comes that second bead. Greg is gonna apply that and tool that out to those specifications I talked about. One inch past the seam in both directions, but there's really not much to it. You know what that, the weedy building panels not touching each other and sealant in between, that's how this whole process takes place. So while we're uh, waiting for Greg to do that, I would like to ask if anybody does have a question right now so far in the process with weedy. Anybody? I know it's a weird forum to ask questions. Maybe, maybe when we're wrapping it up in a couple minutes here, you'll have some. And I'll also be able to answer any individual questions at booth 3930. Yes, sir. Where do I get my, my, the Weedy name? Stefan Weedy, it's a last name. Family, family business, family business. So that's what it is, well that's last name. And it is pronounced Weedy, not Weedy. Weedy. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That's a good question. Yes? How long has Weedy been around for? Weedy started in 1983. So anybody that's unfamiliar with Weedy, uh, you know it's not a new product. Nobody here is going to be a guinea pig or anything else. It's a tried and true system that's been in the market for a long time. Okay, we did originally start as a tile backer, so the shower system was not around in 1983, but we did swiftly move into the product offerings that you see today. Now, what I did notice is Greg is covering the screws and washers with sealant, and that also is part of the specifications and the install of the Weedy shower system. So the sealant in between, the topical application of the sealant spread flat to one inch past the seam in both directions. You also cover the washers and ensure that the sealant is one inch outside the perimeter of the washer as well. Greg, it's looking good. Everything's looking great. He's wrapping up a couple of the washers here, tooling out the sealant for the last time, and then he's going to simply apply our curb. The curb that Greg is using today, and I know we had some late comers, so I'll introduce this again, is our lean curb. You don't always have to use one of the thick curbs. Maybe if you're going between door jams and you want a little bit thicker curb, no problem. But this is the lean curb, two inches, and it has just an inch and a half footprint. You could see here on our prefabricated accessories, uh, a lot of them have that channel built in. Remember, this is a modular system where you have a lot of different components that come together to make that shower system but uh, some of that is cut for you before you even get to the job site. So again, fast install, a couple hours, you're all internally waterproof and can set tile as soon as 30 minutes after you're done with this installation. So Greg's gonna go ahead and install the curb. We've got thin set down and this lean curb in addition to sealant, you can use thin set to the substrate you can also use our modified silane to the substrate if you didn't want to mix up thin set or maybe your, your thin set uh, you know, hardened up on you in the bucket. That's no problem. You can use our, uh, our sealant as well. Greg's going to put a bead of sealant through the channel. He's going to put another bead of sealant just under the channel so you don't want any foam touching each other. Remember, there's always sealant in between the weedy parts and pieces. Weedy will never touch weedy without sealant in between. 
So you're gonna just use compression. You're gonna set that down. There's an additional bead of sealant, yep, on the face of the curb. Thanks for showing us that, Greg. And then we're gonna jump back into the internal components of our brand new click and seal drain, because that really is what this is all about. Our next generation drain is here. So the click and seal drain to cover that. Steve's gonna jump in here and just tool out that sealant, you know, the one inch past the seam in both directions. Got all your components, Greg? Perfect. So with that lubricant that's provided, he's gonna go ahead and uh, apply the lubricant to the rubber gasket that goes in first. That's the sealing gasket. That's what does all the business here and keeps the water where it needs to be. So once that gasket's seated, he's gonna then lube up the inside of our compression spacer, which has a rubber seal on that as well. That's gonna just slide down on top of that O-ring. PVC pipe, ABS pipe, cast iron pipe, no problem. We adapt all those right out of the box with no special adapters or gaskets or anything like that. There's a locking key and there's also a tightening tool. They all come in the drain assembly and these drains come with any shower base that you buy. You'll pick out your drain cover, but the drain assembly is always coming with your shower base. Once he's got the locking ring in place, he'll tighten it up with our tightening tool. A flathead screwdriver, and this also doubles as a hair catch, so it stays in. Very innovative. Once that's done, Greg's gonna move into our drain cover extension and adjustment. It's basically a threaded throne for the drain cover and two adjustment rings. Very easy to put into place. It takes only seconds. You can cut off the threads that you don't need depending on the thickness of your tile. No problem. And then you also have the ability to adjust the height with the threads. It screws up and down. But the lateral movement is present too to get the perfect grout joint. Looks good. We're going to use our standard stainless steel cover today. All of our drain covers are super high quality, PVD coated, and a very, very thick design. It is not, um, not gonna bend on you or, or do anything unsavory like uh, corrode or rust uh, in the future. So again, the high quality is built into all of our components, including our drain covers. And come check out booth 3930 because we did launch a many, many new drain cover finishes. Stainless is not the only one that's available. Everything looks pretty good. I like it. Any questions? Anybody have any questions? So if you've got the linear drain. Linear drain, mm-hmm. What's the shape of those boards? So when you're using our linear drain shower bases, you have a lot of options. In fact, any of our shower basin, ba bases, you have a lot of options in sizes and where that drain placement is, offset for tub replacements and whatnot. But this is a single slope, 32 inch, 48 inch. We have four way slope uh, linear drains, many different sizes there too. So 48, 72, you know, 32 by 72, and the, the list goes on. Yeah, exactly. The, your typical sizes, of course, you know, you've got your 32 by 60 tub replacements, 36 by 60, and, you know, we can make all that. And remember with Weedy, one of the main features, one of the real reasons why a lot of people use it is it's so versatile. So it's so customizable. You can cut down the shower base and extend them with extension panels, no problem. We make it easy to put material lists together. We make it easy to put your projects together with five steps. Shower bases, building panels, prefabricated accessories. You see a few of them here. Our sealant and screws and washers, the stuff that puts it all together. And our fifth category are metals, our drain covers, our shelving, just the things that you're gonna accessorize that shower with. Benches and seats can be built with two inch weedy or our prefab seats. There's a lot more, so come visit, to us. come visit us at booth 3930, grab a technical handbook, maybe meet one of your reps, one of the TSMs that's out there, or we can help you figure out the contact to the TSM where you live. Uh, no problem, we're here for you, we wanna work with you, and of course we want you guys to try out Weedy if you haven't, uh, but remember that support structure's there too. And one thing that I'm gonna leave everybody with is that if you do have a project coming up and you need assistance on that job, we're there for that too, to certify your guys, to certify you. We'll work with you in putting that first weedy shower together on your own job site. So in addition to the formal training, we'll be there on your very own job site and walk you through every step of it and you will leave being a certified weedy installer. But let's talk more, 3930. We're just a hop, skip and a jump over there. 
That's it for me. I'm Art Reitz, and this was the Weedy Shower System. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.